Is Teofimo Lopez ducking Vasil Lomachenko? Knuckleheads, first and foremost, a couple things I need to communicate to you guys before we continue with this. As I indicated yesterday, I do believe Teofimo Lopez Jr. is the man at 135 pounds. He's got the talent, he's got the athleticism, and he has the resume, which for me was rounded out when he beat Vasily Lomachenko. It was at that point when he came away with those titles that I said to myself, this is the guy at 135 pounds, bar none. You've got four or five guys at the top of that division. All of them are talented, but this is the guy right now. So fine, now that we've got that point across, I want to say that you guys are probably not going to like what's about to come out of my mouth here. Teofimo Lopez Jr. not giving Vasily Lomachenko the rematch immediately after that fight is a duck. Listen, if it looks like a duck and it smells like a duck and it's slippery like a duck, it's a duck. And I'm going to explain my position. And I don't want you guys to get upset, but if you do, that's too bad. I say what I think on this channel. But I'm going to explain my position. First and foremost, first and foremost, that fight was awfully close. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Listen, Teofimo Lopez did a great job in the first half of that fight. Lomachenko came on in the second half of that fight when he started to put some punches together and actually throw punches. It was a close fight. Andre Ward scored it a draw. I scored it about the same. I said to myself, if either guy wins by one point or maybe even two, I'm okay with it. If it's a draw, I'm okay with it. Teofimo came away with the win, and I said, great job, Teofimo. Pat yourself on the back. You're the man at 135 pounds. But that fight was extremely close. And if you understand scoring criteria and you understand the sport, then you thought the way me and Andre Ward did that that was an extremely close fight. So that's reason number one why it should be run back, right? For Teofimo Lopez to put a stamp on it. Reason number two. Teofimo Lopez is saying that, oh, the reason he's not given a rematch, oh, Lomachenko, you should have put a rematch clause in the contract. Really? Really? That brings me to reason number two. Lomachenko is the same guy who took money out of his own purse and gave it to Teofimo Lopez to make this fight. So you're going to come back after barely beating that guy by the skin of your teeth and tell him you should have put a rematch clause in the contract knuckleheads if it looks like a duck and it smells like a duck and it quacks like a duck and it's slippery it's a duck listen for so long we've been fighting against the culture of boxing that has corrupted it a side versus b side fights keeping that zero intact making sure you never lose a fight the manufactured undefeated record that has seen so many careers get destroyed in the process and and, and so many guys how many guys have completely spiraled out of boxing after just taking one defeat this is more of the same this is the hyper diligent preservation of that undefeated record if you're the better man and you believe you are the better man then get back in there with the guy that you barely beat in Vasily Lomachenko and show the world that you are the man at 135 pounds now listen i'm not saying i'm not saying that teofimo is a scaredy cat i'm not saying that and i got a lot of respect for teofimo i had his father interviewed on this channel but this looks to be a very calculated risk averse business decision and it just doesn't look right it doesn't look right and it's going to tarnish his legacy if he doesn't go back in there and fight Vasily Lomachenko at some point. Telling the public that a rematch clause should have been placed in the contract is not going to be enough to wipe the tarnish off that legacy. So I think he's incorrect there. And I think he needs to go back in there and fight Lomachenko. My question to you, 
My question to you is, should he rematch Vasil Lomachenko? Leave your comment below. Articulate your reasoning below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join the most educated fight channel on YouTube. Also hit the bell notification icon. Join Knucklehead Nation. Finally, hit the join button. Just $5 a month. You help me continue to build this community and in turn build the only kickboxing promotion that matters, Fighters Rep Promotions. Imagine that you have a hand in helping build an entire kickboxing promotion. Imagine all the opportunities you give the fighters related to that. Also, get your Fighters Rep gear in the link below. Anything you guys spend here is reinvested back into the promotion. Knuckleheads, I really look forward to hearing what you have to say on this one. Listen, make your point. Don't be disrespectful to others or anyone on this channel or on this channel. Make your point, and we can argue this if you want to argue.